The scores are starting to roll in now with Anton on 101 and Arika on 245. Can Boris go above and beyond to get even higher scores? Boris should be a strong contender for this as he is strong, steady and able to carry more than any other character. He starts off well by clearing the house quickly and getting some medicine which he can trade at the garage day one. This allows him to get a hatchet and lots of materials. He then uses the hatchet to break up everything at home which allows him even more resources to fix up the shelter. By the end of day three, we have lots of the main workbenches and the entire house is boarded up as needed. The issue with Arika's run in the end was that she had to get quite a large variety of things to get a good score. So with Boris, we go fast and focus on something early. We build a moonshine still on day four, and we still have all the fuel that we got from smashing up all the furniture to make alcohol with. We do do a run on night four to get the gun from the supermarket soldier, just so we are protected going forward. Being quite reckless, I do decide to try and scavenge again on night six, despite not being raided yet, and grab some more resources from the looted gas station. Thankfully, it pays off. Another plan we have in this run to maximize score is to cook food two at a time, instead of one meal every two days. By this, I mean leaving a cooked food on the stove pretty much the whole time. Knowing that Boris has already brought back a lot of materials, we clear out the trader of all his so we can build whatever we want. What we want at the moment though is a water collector for more alcohol, so we set that up, make some filters and get more alcohol ready. This process slowly repeats while we wait for the raid to allow us to go out again, and we even get some vegetables from a nice neighbour. We are now in an outbreak of crime though, so no more scavenging for a while as we fend off a lot of attackers with our gun and barricades. Thankfully, the trader still comes often, meaning I can keep the alcohol flowing and water filters being made. Day 12 brings a curb on crime, so we take the opportunity to grab the goodies at the cottage in order to make more things at home. The next few days go by quickly as we wait for another raid while creating alcohol. This method really pushes up Boris's score. I get a second water collector for this aim and keep pushing on with everything. A raid on night 14 opens up a scavenge mission on night 15. We decide to go for the military outpost, knowing how to get good loot from them. This goes well at first as we manage to unlock the cupboard, but then we get caught when we go back to grab it. A little bit of sneaking around does get us those goodies, but we get caught once more trying to get the back stuff. We decide not to risk anything too much as dying wouldn't be nice at all, so head back home with the first load. The next day is spent getting more alcohol before yet another raid. We decide our next target should be the warehouse. We slowly break open the door in case of a quick escape and then equip our weapons and follow the first guy. Unfortunately, I have an itchy trigger finger and instead of waiting until he's in melee range, I click early. The shotgun goes off but doesn't kill him. His friend joins and Boris is no match. Boris falls and the game ends on night 18. I sadly go tot up Boris's score and suddenly realise that despite his early end, he has 70 points from alcohol alone. After a lot of calculations and rewatching the footage to see what he actually had, we calculate a score of 248, which means he takes the lead, even with Arika having a full run. It's insane to think what score he would have got if he had survived until the end.